Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Um, in my last video, I got a suggestion um, making it, making a video uh, where I don't cut out any of the procedures that I do. So I include all the briefings and things like that. And um, so this is the video where I'll be trying that. And I'm going to call it the uncut uh, video. It doesn't mean it's uncut, it just means that my procedures are not being cut out. Everything else that obviously is unimportant, for example, waiting for boarding to complete. Those are things that I will cut. Let me know what you guys think and let's go ahead and get started. by initializing eight cars. All right, that is checked. We'll continue OFP data, fuel. We'll send that off. Refueling truck is on its way. If we require catering or Please anything. Please don't load aircraft no. until the fuel truck arrives and ask to do it. Other request. We got our preliminary load sheet, except 16.8 tons, take all weight 68 to 2. Weather 122, variable 3. Alright, we'll go to data. AC status, aircraft, engine type, nav database is checked, delete and confirm the waypoints, all tight in it, flight plan is checked, flight number is checked, that's good to go. So winds are calm, down tight are 15, that's, that's, that's not necessarily correct. Ground from cockpit. Go ahead. Confirm chucks in. Chucks are in. Roger. 68.3 will plan with one ton extra. 69 tree. AC off. NTIS off. Optimum flex. Only one two full length. Calculate. And fig three with 62. Up two with 62. Flaps one with 62. So we're going to go with flaps Please one. Please use your airplane fuel system to set the desired fuel quantity. So 155, 155, 155. Like 62, flaps one plus F. So that's fine and checked. Weather has been entered. Oxygen is checked, hydraulic quantities are checked, engine oil quantities are checked, flaps up, indicating spoilers disarmed. I'm Pretty out for the walk around. The pressure in the green will set the lights on for him. And, um... Yep. Well, I'm, I'm now going to get up my charts, uh, check the notums, things like that, and then we'll continue with the uh, pre-flight procedure. Alright, notums have been reviewed, charts have been reviewed. Um, so we'll continue with the pre-flight procedures. Now we're going to have a lot of three good on the bottom, push in back, try to take down line.
can't be checked, so that's probably a bug. And we'll continue with the MCDU. The cure is 10. Double pause. Mature minus 52. Part of runway 1, 2 left. Use a 3 hotel. Insert. Survival, Ilus, the seven left, Zulu. Power to Delta. Insert. Alternate flight plan. Over to Munich. Insert. Please info. So, and this is for the engine now. Block fuel. Maybe 7.6. Sixty point eight. Now alternate. One point six. This is 1.9. Pumps 1, we see 2. I'm back, no issues on the walk around. All entered. Cruise level with optimum recommend a nice checked. We may one two left in case of a return. Now it actually is low for now. Fuel. Um, I requested more, put in more. We do require a little bit more. It is an estimated take off rate of 686. Just point Hi, more. Hi, security and safety check are all done. Are we good to start boarding? Yes. Thanks. Clear to board. Boarding requested. I 
Our secondary flight plan back to Belgrade. Rival ILS 1 2 left. Do you want to board crew? Passengers boarding starting. Under a flight plan, I'm going to double check that. 3.5 DME, right turn to OBR and then hold. Okay, my engine now, he's already got ADF tuned. Let's use the pilot monitoring. Mitchell climb 6,000. Oxygen test. Roger. Nabzo, Slider 126,100, on to this check, and if I go 2 2, I think it looks good here. Pressurization, this check status should be normal. At this point, it is, but that's checked. I have a beautiful flight. We should get our um, departure clearance and then our departure briefing, uh, and then do our departure briefing. Nope, nobody's online, so let's say we got current 6,000, squawk 2,000, as I just checked, and we'll do the departure briefing. Hello. Hello. Are you ready for the departure brief? Ready. Aircraft type is the A220, the CFM engines, sharklets, and the base is up to date, auto factor minus 2. MEL status aircraft is checked, nothing that affects us, OEBs have been reviewed, Odin's have been reviewed, nothing that affects us either. The weather, the winds are um, variable at 3, so fairly calm. Outside air temperature 10, Kinetic 1022, conditions drive, planning flex takeoff, config 1 plus F, anti ice off, and AC off. There'll be a standard pushback and start off from the gate. We're going to use transponder here in the airport. And the taxi turns to runway, uh, runway uh, 1 2 left. Can be expected by a golf clock shot Bravo, which is the chart 10-9, effective 23 February. There's a hot spot here um, between clock shot and delta when you get on to Bravo. Keep an eye on that. Blog fuel is eight tons. We had to Hello. bump up the blog fuel by uh, 400 kilos uh, due to a change of departure. 
the takeoff runway is now 1 2 left, flaps 1, flight like 62, NADP 1 with an engine on acceleration of 1900, B11551555, engine altitude is 10,000 feet. The SID is the uh, TSAS 3 hotel departure. The charge is 10 3, effective, effective 23 February. The waypoints, waypoints are as follows, 1,100 feet, max 230 knots. Oh, echo 201, max 230 knots and 3,000 feet or above. Alpha Alpha. ADF, max 250 knots between 4,000 and 6,000 feet. And then T-stock, 6,000 feet or above, 2,500, uh, sorry, 2,500, uh, sorry, 250 knots or above and then the flight plan to the airport. The MSA is going to be for the engine, it's going to be 3,000 feet, so we're going to climb at 3,500 feet. This time, flight level is 60. No threats. The flight time is 151, the flight plan says 142, so we had it added 10 minutes due to our change in departure. A distance 690, that says 684. And extra fuel on board, that says 3.2, here it says 2.9. Um, that has to do with the flight plan discrepancies of Sindreef. Um, so this should bump up once we get closer to the arrival. For the right nav, I've entered in Bravo Golf Delta and Oscar Bravo Romeo for the engine out, which we'll discuss in a moment. Cruise level is 360, optimum is 345, recommended max is 379, average accuracy is high, and runway 1 2 left in case of a return. Um, this will be my takeoff from runway 1 2 left. For any failure before 100 knots, I will call stop. For any failure after 100 knots and before we 1 out, I will only call stop for any of the following failures. Engine fire, AP fire, engine failure, engine lower oil pressure, config fault, side stick fault, reversers unlocked, or elevator fault. I'll call stop, close the thrust service, and activate four reverse thrust. You will monitor my actions and monitor the deceleration of the aircraft. When we come to a stop, I'll set the parking brake, notify ATC. I'll advise the cabin to remain seated, remain seated. We'll then start ECAM actions. If evacuation is imminent, I'll call evacuate, evacuate, use all doors. For any failure after V1, I'll call go. And we will continue to take off as we're standard company procedure. But any actions before 400 feet except for raising the gear. At 400 feet, we're going to start ECOM actions. Or you will start ECOM actions. Now we'll fly, navigate, and communicate. The engine out procedure is as follows, which is where we need the VORs. So at 3.5 DME of. We're going to continue runway track until 3.5 DME of um, Bravo Gulf Delta, which we're then going to turn right to Oscar Bravo Romeo, AD, uh, ADF, and then hold. This is also on a secondary flight plan, so at 400 feet, make sure to activate the secondary flight plan. At engine out acceleration of 1,900 feet, um, you will momentarily stop ECOM actions. I will level off the aircraft using vertical speed, accelerate to green dot speed, and clean up the plane as, as, as necessary. At green dot, continue ECOM actions. I will set the altitude and speed assigned by A to C. At status page, stop ECOM, and I will call for the after takeoff checklist. We will then assess our next actions and communicate with A to C our intentions. Any questions? No questions. Departure brief complete. All right, so we got our final, final load sheet. AC point eight. Third two. Fuel, eight tons. Expect. Eight six and this for safety measure, we're going to go um, two two eight at zero three. So fifty 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 one. C2 stays the same, down 0 0.4.
that's the wrong fuel. Start the APU. Does your captain make me one money? Welcome to your board today's flight service to Frankfurt and Lufthansa Triple Two Alpha. Today's flight will take us one hour and fifteen minutes. We do expect an on time departure here and an on time arrival. The weather in Frankfurt currently is nice, low winds, a few clouds within the area, and a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. If you have any additional comments, questions, or concerns, please let the camera for know, and I'll be happy to assist you. Before our descent into Frankfurt, we'll give you some updates on the weather and any other additional information that you may require, for example, gate changes or any connection of flights or delays. Thank you for choosing us today. We'll talk to you soon. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On auto. Adheres. Nav. Fuel quantity. Eight tons balanced. Takeoff data. That's Barrel ref. One zero two two set. One zero two two set. Down to the line. Hey guys, all packs are on board. Are we clear to close? Yes. Thanks. See you up there. On to so I don't know if I can break his head, I can pressure it's in the green. And we're ready to go. For the Frankfurt, the uh, TZ3 hotel departure, initial climb 6000, squawk 5244 for Triple 2 Alpha. Frankfurt Triple 2 Alpha is correct. Alright, requesting push and start, please, for triple two alpha. Look at the triple two alpha, push back, set up, approve the runway one to left, can H one zero two two. Alright, clear for push and start, runway one to left, and we have information alpha on board, triple two alpha. released. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Facing northeast. Understood. Facing northeast. Release the brakes, please. Brakes released.
Brakes released. Okay, commencing pushback. Burning engine 2. All ground equipment is clear, you can start the engines at your discretion. Starting engine one. Go ahead, cockpit. The push is complete. Please set the brakes. Brakes are set. Understood. Okay, the turbo is disconnected and the pin is out and the equipment is clear. Clear to disconnect and go to hand signals. Understood, have a nice flight. After start checklist. Anti-ice. Off. Ecam status. Checked. Pitch trim. That unchecked. Rudder trim. Zero. After start checklist complete. Light control check. Full up. Go ahead, cockpit. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Left under uh, triple two alpha ready for taxi. Left under triple two alpha uh, taxi to full equator right, runway one two left by Golf Alpha. By Golf Alpha holding point runway one two left for triple two alpha. Left side. Clear right side. Big check. Pressure zero.
go for the departure briefing. Um, nothing has changed, runway 1, 2 left. ETs at 3 hotel, departure, nurse climb 6,000, squat 5244. And for the engine out procedures, secondary flap time will activate at 400 feet, which is uh, 3.5 uh, DME of Bravo Golf Delta. We'll turn right to Oscar Bravo Romeo, ADF, which you have ready, and we'll hold there. Any questions? Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flap setting. Config 1 plus F. Config 1 plus F. V1, VR, V2, flex temp. V1, 150. VR, 150. V2, 151. Flexing 62 degrees. V1, 150. VR, 150. V2, 151. Flex temp 62 degrees. ATC. That. ECAM memo. Take off, no blue. Down to the line. We went purposely slow because we want the engine oil to warm up to about 52. I think it's exactly 52, I'm not sure, 54, um, which looks like it's pretty much there. Um, so we can do it in a good takeoff, a normal takeoff. Um, plus, it's a short taxi, so there's no need to rush. Alpha runway 1 to left, please take off wind variable 5 knots. Clear for takeoff runway uh, 1 to left for trouble to Alpha. Approach path clear of traffic. Cabin crew be seated for takeoff. Packs are off. Below the line. Takeoff runway. One two confirmed. Confirmed. Cabin crew. Advised. TCAS. T A R A. Engine mode selector. Normal. Packs. Off. Before takeoff checklist complete. Ready? Affirm. Flight 62, SRS, runway, out of thrust. Thrust set. Checked. One hundred knots. Checked. Rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. Uh, gear up. Checked. Pass a triple two off. Uh, continue in uniform up to the small level for that. Over in uniform, thank you for your service. Have a good one. Triple two off. Huh? Let's climb out of thrust. Checked. Packs are on.
offline. Checked. I'm a pilot one. Checked. Flaps at zero. Speed checked. Flap zero. After takeoff time, check those. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Attracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. That's standard. Standard. Cross checked. Passing flight level 105. Confirm seat belts off. Negative. Now. Checked. Confirm. Clear rad nav. Negative. Confirm copy. Active to secondary. Negative. Cruise flight level is as shown. Optimum flight level is as shown. Recommended max flight level is as shown. Are you happy with our current selected flight level? Yes. Okay. Send 100 miles from now. We're going to go ahead and get our weather information and everything that we need. Nobody's online in Frankfurt right now, so, um, um, start with the flight with the EFB, go to landing. I don't know, some on left. EC on anti-ice is gonna, not going to be required. Reverse is all config full. But we're going to start with flight plan. Flight plan is checked and revised. Right now, um, RD, progress, press is checked, performance, Variable at three, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a, into a tailwind, so six, seven, a three, temperature one tree, and row two, five, and five, oh, five, a barrel, 110, and a DP two. The active secondary uh, 63, 64, 1. I'm going to go with 64, 1. We're going to calculate. 64, 139 is checked. Um, we're going to go with medium auto brake. 
For sure, we can go with low. We want to use as much runway as we can since um, runway for us on the left is a bit farther away from us, uh, from the gate. And we're going to do our initial descent. Two four zero. Do the approach briefing, and then we'll brief the cabin uh, as well. So final approach fixed altitude is five thousand minimum. It's five oh eight. Five oh five. Sorry. Reversers max, auto brake low, landing flap full, last actor yes. Are you ready for the approach brief? Ready. So, no one's have reviewed, aircraft status is checked. Weather, uh, winds variable at 3, temperature 1, 3, Q9, 1, 0, 2, 5, take 4, reversers all. Enter is not required, AC will be on. Transition level 6 0, no donuts from the weather that affects us. Ultimate is going to be 1025. Romain use is runway 207. Um, we're going to use ILS 07 left Zulu. Our fuel on board, we have 4.5 tons. Our minimum diversion fuel, um, if we did need to divert, is 0 0.5, which is um, exactly what our flight plan planned with. So it's, so as predicted before, the FMGC just didn't calculate the correct fuel load. Which is fine. Minimum diversion fuel um, is fine for us. So 15 minutes of holding time if we didn't need to. Top ascent is within uh, 60 miles, and our airport is within 243, which gives us about 180 miles of descent, um, which is fine for our altitude. The star chart 11-1 effectivity, 4th of November. That's incorrect, sorry. The chart is the 10 2B, effective of 15 July, which all the restrictions are checked and set. Everything's good to go. Let's say it's 4,200 feet, so we're going to climb to 4,500 in case of an engine failure. And right now, it has an entry with FFM and FRD. Nothing we require necessarily, but um, mentioned in the charts. The approach. Alice zero seven left Zulu. Five thousand feet final approach fixed altitude. And a gradient of uh, three degrees. Minimum five oh five feet. And engine out. Oh, sorry, the uh, go round procedure is as follows: at three point two DME FFM. Turn left, tracking zero zero six until DME of four point two of Frankfurt VOR, then turn or track 337 until 11.1 .1 TME of FFM, and then left track 267 until reaching TAU or intercepting TAU and holding there, right turn 045. Run conditions are dry, auto brake level low, and expect a taxi clearance to our gate, uh, which is expected to be Alpha 18. Um, I am using parts 10-9B. We're going to taxi by November. It's going to be by uh, um, November 11, November, November 7 to Alpha 18. Any questions? None. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. As promised, we'll be giving you a short brief update on uh, our descent into Frankfurt. We expect our descent to start in within the next five minutes. And so we do ask that you get ready um, for the landing into Frankfurt. The weather currently calm winds with a temperature of 13 degrees Celsius and some clouds within the area. We hope you enjoyed your stay with us. The cam crew will be coming around shortly to pick up any last minute trash or to verify that your seat belts are fastened and your seats are in the upright position.
It'll also give you some brief information on any connection flights or delays and gate changes that apply to any of you on today's flights. We thank you for choosing us and we'll be on the ground. Alpha Frankfurt, Tower Low, Winter, 8 degrees, 8 knots, Frankfurt, 07, left, 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 Right, Radio to altimeter alive. Speed checked. Flaps two. Eurowing 6779 Frankfurt, Tower, Roger. Lufthansa 969 identified. Nothing further. One, two, Unicom, one, two, two, decimal eight. One, two, decimal eight. Lufthansa 969, attention, John. You're down. Eurowing 6779, you can reduce final approach speed. Flaps full. Schönen Tag, Male 520. Cabin crew, be seated for crossing Delta Fox. 654, 4000 feet. Advised. Expect ILS 07 right. Auto brake. Male 520, Frankfurt. Landing checklist complete. Be reporting when localizer established 07 right.
after landing checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. Start. Radar. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. After landing checklist complete. Lufthansa H Charlie Papa, taxi holding point driver 07 center, via Lima Lima 20. Holding point driver 07 center, Lima Lima 20, Lufthansa H Charlie Papa. 06779, taxi to gate Charlie 2, via November 1, November, November 3. Charlie 2, yeah, November 1, November and November 3, you're only 6779. Area 3-1, Papa, Papa, behind the departing Airbus A330, line up runway 18 and wait behind. Got yeah, it, departing Airbus A330, line up runway 18 behind. Can you line up by November, the Airbus A330, Papa? Um, if you wish, you can line up by November, A firm, Area 3-1, Papa, Papa. Okay, we'll make a right on the air gate, then line up by November, the Airbus A330, line up by November, the Lufthansa H Charlie Papa with 080 zero zero degrees 8 knots, run with 07 center, clear for takeoff. Run with 07 center, clear for takeoff, however, we need around uh, about 30 more seconds. Lufthansa H Charlie Papa, Roger, that's no problem. Covid, H Charlie Papa. Boarding requested. Working checklist. APU bleed. On. Engines. Off. Seat belts. Off. Exterior lights. Off. Fuel pumps. Off. Passengers bus is Parking off. brake and shocks. On and in. Parking checklist complete. Alright, so that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, peace.